What is the name of this piece? This is called Big Flare. Big Flare. So we went from this little pine branch playing out <laughs> to this beautiful Big Flare. And the color is amazing. Now this is not pink, right? No. It is actually... There's the book. The insides of book covers. Yeah. So it's the... If you open up a book, an old book, you'll see the end sheets, and oftentimes they're white, uh -huh. but sometimes you get they're, they're colored or they're patterned, and so I collect all of this, all of these covers, and so these are the insides of the book covers, not the cloth covers, which I use in other pieces. Yeah, but, I, I, but they're, they're, that's found in the books. There's no paint added. Right, right. You have used book covers for a long time in your work, and a lot of the shows that we have had used them, but my feeling is, is they do something for you in overcoming kind of the tyranny of that flat rectangle. Mm. Is that correct? Mm -hmm. or gives it a materiality yeah. and right. overcomes that picture plane. You right, know? right. You know? and, um, and I don't think I do it consciously, but I, I think I'm always thinking about 2D and 3D and right. wanting to have that interplay of right. something that is sculptural, three-dimensional, even if it's an illusion right. of three-dimensionality. But to your point on it, the idea of starting with kind of a blank canvas, yeah. that's not of interest to me. No. Because um, nature is not that way. It's I want to start with materials that I've found, materials that have been used, right. hopefully loved, uh -huh. and are now kind of going to be repurposed. Right. And so the, the covers of the books, the insides of the books, and then they become the framework for the canvas. They are the canvas, but they give me a starting point that is there. So I'm, it's not just me exerting myself onto them. They instruct me. Right. And so I, and, and I guess I am kind of breaking the, the picture plane, but I'm also happily working within it. That's right. And this is a cast shadow. This is a drawing of a cast shadow. And I have purposely said, okay, this is the space that I'm working within, and I get to play with, okay, so can I enlarge this shadow? It's a sub, the subject, the wire piece is just this big, but I, I can make it bigger, I can make it fill this, I can make a small drawing. So it becomes a space in itself that I appreciate and right. that isn't something I'm working against, but I see it as like an envelope that holds, holds the drawing. Right, right. Well, you know, I think what's fascinating here is this is a drawing of a shadow. Right. But you're drawing the negative space. You're actually, the graphite yes. work that you're doing is actually the negative, negative space, solution. not the positive right. space. So it flips it on your end yeah. and keeps both your mind and the viewer's mind in a state of fluidity, I think. You know, in a way that hopefully uh, <laughs> that's what I hate. Which I have loved. If, if uh, you know, she has been in the gallery many times, actually drawing even on the wall in the gallery, in other installations, and it is the most quiet, zen-like thing to watch her just do this detail mm -hmm. quietly mm -hmm. and patiently and capture that thing and then stand back from it and be able to see how effective it is, and it is really effective. Mm.